Hello guys, my name is Ashish. I uh, hope you all are doing well. Today we'll see how to calculate web hosting charges on Heroku. So we will cover the main things in the in any of the applications like the hosting charges, what are the database cost and the domain charges. So let's see uh, how to calculate the hosting charges first. So I'll go to Heroku uh, dashboard and I am selecting my one of the applications. So basically in any of the applications we need backend database and then we need some plans for your uh, applications. So let's see uh, this Dino information. So basically Dino means it's a container and there are some different plans for it. So currently I'm using free version of it and if you want to edit it you can click here. So basically there are multiple plans for uh, your uh, web application. So the, uh, this is a free one. This is hobby and if you go to the pricing list. Here it is. So basically they have provided uh, different versions for your applications. So this is the free one. You don't have to pay any charges. Uh, if you have linked your credit card, then you will get every month 1000 hours free. So if you calculate monthly hours, that is 720 uh, hours uh, if you consider 30 days a month so you actually don't have to pay anything for it and uh, the problem with this plan is if your application uh, doesn't get any requests in 30 minutes so it goes in a sleep mode however uh, it wakes up when a first request comes after the after that sleep time so you don't have to worry about it. Your application will be still in a running mode. So let's see these plans. Okay. So if you see a uh, free dyno type, it has 512 MB RAM and so on. So you can select any of these plans and yeah, you can pay the charges accordingly. So free is uh, and then there is another plan hobby so that costs you seven dollar per month and so the difference between these these two plans are uh, the application never goes in a sleep mode with this uh, with this plan now let's come to the next point so that is database cost so we are using this add-on so currently I'm using free version and if you go here modify plan so there are multi -plan, multiple plans uh, you can see the costs so let's go in detail okay so these are the costs so in free uh, plan you can you can use up to 5 MB storage so if you don't know how to calculate the storage let me show you something so I have this database and uh, it has only two fields ID and name and it doesn't have any records in it so I have created these 10,000 records let me try to insert them so that you will get an idea that uh, how to calculate the space for your database. So it will be done in a few seconds. Okay, it is done. And let me show you one query. So this query, this is my schema name. If you run this query, it will show you how much storage uh, has been consumed by your database. Let me run this query. 
okay so if you see it is showing 0 0.33 mb and i have inserted around 10 10000 rows in the in the table so you can calculate your database size accordingly and you can decide which version to choose for your applications uh, it will also give you some options if your database consumes 80 percent storage then you will get an uh, alert email from Heroku so that you can change your plans accordingly so these are different plans so this bunch plan is 9.99 dollars and it will give you one GB storage okay now let's move to the next point that is domain charges so Heroku actually doesn't provide any uh, domain registration service if you see this warning Heroku does not provide a domain registration service however you can uh, use other other applications or other websites for your domain registration and you can link them to your Heroku applications so basically Heroku websites or web application starts with some name like name of the application and it contains this keyword in it herokuapp.com so you can actually map your domain with these URLs so yeah so the domain charges are totally depends on where you you are buying your domains and yeah this is how you can calculate uh, web hosting uh, charges for your applications so guys if you don't know how to deploy a uh, web application on Heroku or how to configure that uh, database in for your applications please see my previous videos in my playlist so if you have any doubts you can comment in the comment box and if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you guys